I'm just offended. As a woman, I'm offended. This sophomore went to Marshall's Jabba Palooza in the student center looking to get her foot in the door to begin a career. I was honestly shocked and disgusted. But one of the tables she stopped at was offering the last type of job she expected. I said something around the lines of like, hey, beautiful, want to clean some houses. Isabella Coons was given a card for Dust Bunny Maid Service. The $25 per hour line piqued her curiosity, so she went to their website. I checked it out and it ended up being a website where I had to clean in sexy outfits. According to the website, the business has women perform housework while wearing lingerie and bikinis. I don't think Marshall knew that this kind of company was here. The site does list positive customer reviews. Joe from Chesapeake says not only was the girl smoking hot, but she actually did a really good job cleaning my house. A university spokesperson says the company signed up for this job fair using a different name. Once they found out they were actually promoting a sexy maid service, they were asked to leave the job fair immediately. I don't think it's right for a company that degrades women and objectifies them to be at a job palooza. Not all students, however, find the premise offensive. Would you clean a, a bathroom in lingerie for $25 an yes. hour? Uh, definitely. Uh, definitely, girl. I'll clean it anything you want. If you want me cleaning a banana suit for $25 an hour, I'll be in a banana suit with some maracas and it's peanut butter jelly time for $25 an hour. Boy, I could not even pass up the opportunity for that. But according to the university, once they found out the nature of the position being offered could be considered sexual harassment, they decided the risque business would not be invited back to recruit on campus anymore. Andrew Colgrove, WSAZ News Channel 3, Huntington.